Wireless access is something most of us take for granted. We shop, we search, you may even be watching this show on a mobile device. But in rural areas, particularly tribal areas, broadband access can be spotty when it's available at all. That problem was the topic of a meeting today in Washington, as Hannah Ehrlich reports from our Washington, D.C. Bureau. One speaker at today's National Tribal Broadband Summit said access to reliable high-speed broadband is an important equalizer for rural areas. But access in those sparsely populated areas continues to be a problem, which is why the government is stepping in. Federal Communications Chairman Ajit Pai touted a 10-year, $20 billion program to help service providers reach those remote areas. The FCC recently launched my proposal to create a $20 billion reverse auction to connect homes and small businesses. We are calling this our Rural Digital Opportunity Fund. The plan continues an Obama-era program. Under the so-called reverse auction, companies submit bids to provide service, and the FCC awards funding to help those with the lowest bids deliver it. White House official Doug Holscher told the summit audience that access to broadband is an important way to empower citizens and to be an equalizer for communities across the country. It's also about improving uh, government services and public safety, and that's a very important thing for every community across our country, and broadband can help be, uh, again, an important equalizer. Pai stresses the need for broadband, which can help deliver medicine and health services to Native communities that might not otherwise have them. If you can't find a specialist in your community, telemedicine or telehealth might be one of the best ways for you to get care that you need. But that requires, of course, a broadband connection. And that's what our rural health care program is designed to address. Today's meeting included breakout sessions with tribal officials and representatives from the FCC Interior, Education and other departments. The two-day summit concludes tomorrow when Arizona Senator Martha McSally is scheduled to be the keynote speaker. In Washington, Hannah Ehrlich, Cronkite News.